hello guys welcome to today's video today i'll be showing you how to fix the samsung galaxy note 9 discoloration on the green screen and the yellowish green screen so if you guys don't know what this screen problem is it's basically um it makes your phone have some sort of discoloration and green ish yellow um first of all this is not my phone um it's someone else's phone so this tutorial i will show you how to fix the discoloration that happens in the samsung galaxy note 9 and other samsung products so basically the discoloration just happens um, periodically so as you can see when i try to turn it on it just shows a, a yellowish green screen and it just does not want to be responsive i've tried tapping on it it always turns the screen always turns black and it basically you cannot use it so i'll show you guys how to fix it or somewhat partially fix it as you can see the screen turns very yellowish as you can see right here and yeah i don't know if you can see there are several pixels uh, everywhere on the screen so yeah i'm gonna show you guys how to fix it so the very first thing what you guys gotta do is basically just take out any phone case or accessory that you may have and you have to take out the back glass case as you can see i have uh took the black uh, black glass case out several times and one of the times i tried to take it out i accidentally cut myself so you guys have to be very careful when taking on the glass case so if you don't know how to take out the glass case you basically take a uh, blow dryer and blow dry the back of the case around 30 seconds to one minute and after that what you gotta do is you gotta use some prying tool and just pry the back case open so uh, mine's way really, uh, open so yeah so hopefully i don't cut myself again so um, you trust me guys you don't want to get yourself cut on one of this i really open it it's not very simple to open the back case but since i really open it it should be pretty easy hopefully i don't cut myself again all right so i will most likely uh, do a time lapse on how to open the phone case uh, right here so basically once you're at the back the second step is you gotta open the back glass case as you can see right here and once you have done it what you gotta do is you want to remove the screws that are present all around the phone as you can see there are several screws so uh, do remember to unclip the battery uh, clip right here as you can see the orange wire connecting right there you want to be very careful and unclip it so i will mostly uh, do a time lapse on me unscrewing so yeah i'll catch you uh, Okay guys, as you can see, I have removed all the screws from the back case right now and your phone should look like this. Um, so right now, you guys, what you gotta do is you gotta remove two components. So the very first thing is going to be this, um, uh, what you call it, the wireless charger. Uh, I don't know what this is. Basically, you just remove it so i already removed mine before so that's why it's very easy for me but you guys gotta remove this black cover and after that you guys also want to remove this thing right here at the back and it's quite hard to remove it and i don't recommend you guys to remove it very fast because you know you could break the component inside and yeah so the the uh the correct way to remove it is you just peel this back off and voila you have just removed these two components so you want uh let me let, let me recap let me recap guys so you gotta remove this component and this component right here and yeah and once you have done it guys you guys want to open your phone again and i'm quite scared of electrocution but basically you guys gotta open your phone um let's see okay okay never mind so what you guys gotta do is not unclip this uh battery cable right here and just clip it back in again let's see you can clip it back in after that you guys gotta turn it on so just turn it on you know 
as you can see I've turned it on right here it says Samsung Galaxy Note 9 secured by Note X powered by Android so once you guys turn it on you should be able to move the phone and you want to download something called Omelette screensaver uh, let's wait for the phone to power on and I'll see you guys there guys um, as you can see um, Compared to last time where there was a big black screen, this time I'm able to see the lock screen and I'm able to unlock it. So let me go here and unlock it. You guys most likely can't see my password, but yeah, that's for security reasons. So as you can see, um, the phone is completely touchable. You can touch the phone, you can swipe up and swipe down compared to last time. So you want to download something called uh, Omelette Saver and you want to enable the service so if you guys don't know how to download the oled saver basically you just go play store excellent all right so you guys what you guys gotta do is you gotta hit play store and you want to write oled saver right here and as you can see i've installed mine download oled saver by mr js and once you hit open you should be able to uh, get this screen right here so i know you guys are pretty confused what to do and you you might be wondering why i told you guys to remove these two components because i figured out that these two components right here i'm gonna slowly lay my phone down these two components right here are the one that caused the problem for your screen not to be responsive they are the cause of the problem so once you have downloaded this thing you potentially could put back these two components back so yep and what you gotta do is gonna hit enable service as you can see the phone immediately lights up pretty bright and you want to use pixel filtering i don't know if you guys can see but instantly there is no more lines that are present on the phone there is no more lines uh, there is not like a very yellow screen that is present before you hit settings brightness correction you know you could adjust up and down it doesn't really matter but basically as you guys can see the phone is pretty much soft the problem has solved as you can see by itself i don't know if you guys can see it so this is the part where you want to remove the two com two components okay I, I can feel the phone vibrating myself so I'm pretty scared that it will explode but this is uh, this is what you guys gotta do you gotta hit settings and you want to hit exclude from recent and enable when system reboots so once you reboot the system these two components that will be going inside will be fixed so you guys don't have to worry about it hit ok and what you gotta do is gotta hold the power button hit power off turn it off because you don't want yourself to be so once you have turned it off you guys gotta install these two parts back so let me see if i can go here and fit these two parts back and yeah i'll see you guys uh back once i have finished screwing these screws back to the fold <laughs> guys as you can see that was the last screw so i'll be putting this glass case at the back of the phone right now and i'll give some adequate pressure on the back so the back case does stick right into the phone so yeah and i'm going to put my screen protector back because you don't have to put the back case back again so moment of truth guys we have put all components back after restoring the components back the screen at the startup will forever be yellow and have this uh, black box right there and it, the the so um the front of the screen will always be discolored so don't be disheartened because that is just how it works so yeah let's see if we can as you can see compared to the last time it actually opens up and you actually can touch the phone and swipe up and down and yeah pretty much um, 
the service has been restored you could actually swipe up and down the phone you could swipe up and down play your games and stuff so yeah let me use omelette filter do remember not to turn it off because once you turn it off um if you turn it off the screen will lag again so i'm gonna show you guys what i mean as you can see if you turn it off it will lag again so yeah so yeah that is how do you fix the uh responsive problem that any of you guys may have that is unresponsive because as you can see my phone is very responsive uh compared to last time where you can't touch the phone stuff like that and yeah this is pretty much the tutorial on how to do it i do realize there will be lines once you put back the phone with the two stuff inside but until samsung comes out with a fix we can't really do anything so yeah the phone is completely restored as you can see you can touch it you can use the camera it works fine front facing works fine so yeah i hope this video helps you guys out if you have an unresponsive phone you have lines that are green um greenish lines that are everywhere this phone i mean this tutorial will definitely help you guys out so i hope you guys try it out if you guys have any other um, problems that you have in the phone do remember to comment below because i will read every single comment and try to help you guys out so other than that i hope this tutorial helps you out consider giving this video a like and subscribe and that stay safe and yeah have a wonderful day guys